Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one was commented on one of my other tutorials and his name is 777J. He asked if I could cover this specific effect and it is a glowing body effect seen in Gene Dawson's Bruce Boy music video. So without further ado, let's get into it. You are going to want to shoot this on a green screen. If you don't, you're gonna have to be doing a lot of masking or rotoscoping. So this is just a little bit easier to do it on a green screen. So I had my wife hold the green screen. I put the camera on a tripod, shot me just doing a little bit of movement. And then I got a clean plate after that of just the background without the focus changing or the distance. Nothing's changing with the camera. Now go ahead and open up your footage in After Effects. So we should have the top layer being the green screen layer and the bottom layer being the clean plate. So the first thing you're going to want to do is on that green screen layer mask out the areas of the green screen And then we're going to go ahead and key the footage So I'm not going to cover how to key out green screen in this tutorial because there's plenty out there And I also have some other tutorials in which I've done that So once your subject is keyed out you can reposition it if you want to and then we're going to pre-compose Just that green screen clip now click into that pre-comp and then duplicate that green screen layer Now you're going to search for the effect called fill and throw that onto that top layer and you you're just going to choose a light color. So I chose a lightish orange because in that effect, you know, there's kind of these orange hues in the glow. This way, if your character is wearing all black like I was, we will still have an even glow and it's not going to make my skin glow way more than the black. So that's an easy fix for that. Now you're going to motion track the subject because basically we're going to go in and add some shapes that will act as basic face details because in that effect, you can see there's some facial features going on. And when I was playing with this effect, the glow kept overriding those features. And so I still wanted a little bit of eyes and a mouth. So basically, we're going to motion track the face right now. Once you're done motion tracking, you're going to create a new null object, and then you're going to set that null as the target for the tracking data and hit apply. And now you're going to create a new dark solid. So you can choose any darker color. I just went with black, but you want it to be dark because you don't want it to glow as hard as everything else. So you want it to stand out inside the glow. Now go ahead and parent that new solid to the null. Now on that one solid, you're gonna create three different masks, one for one eye, one for another eye, and then a basic mouth. Now turn on the mask path keyframes and go through and adjust as needed. Because my head was rotating, I don't want the shapes to be leaving my head as my head turns. So you're going to have to adjust the mask if you're doing the same thing. But keep in mind, I didn't notice this at first, but you probably won't have to keyframe the entire clip because if you're duplicating the exact same effect, the glow gets so intense that it just consumes the entire screen and you're not gonna be able to see those shapes anyway. It's more for the beginning of the effect. So I mean, you could probably do it for just half of the duration of the entire effect and get away with it. So click out of that pre-comp. So now we should just be able to see the pre-comp and the clean plate. Now you're going to add a glow to that pre-comp and I'm using Red Giant's optical glow but you can achieve a similar looking effect with the native glow in After Effects you're just going to have to play with the different thresholds and values so I go to the very beginning of the effect and then adjust the size amount and radiate to however I like it. So basically I did a little bit lower on size because I want those facial features to still be showing just a little bit. And then the amount to be something a little higher, around 75. And then for radiate, I just turned on the keyframes because we're gonna move forward in the effect about halfway through and then we're gonna make some adjustments. So on the radiate, I cranked it up to 50%. And then I moved up the size just a little bit and the amount just a little bit. And now once you move to the very end of the effect, what's really going to make the glow grow and consume the entire screen is going to be the size. So once again, boost up the amount and then move the radiate all the way to 100 and then just adjust the size to consume the entire screen. Now we're gonna add a little bit of post camera shake. So you're going to pre-compose that pre-comp and the plate all together and then scale it up to about 107 and then bring up the position keyframes, hold alt and click on the stopwatch and we're going to type in wiggle one comma 30. Now go to where the glow really starts to intensify 
and then make a cut right there. And then on that cut, you're going to change the expression to something a little more intense. We're going to change that expression to wiggle 20 comma 10 because it's going to make the screen shake a lot harder. And that's it. That's how you replicate the effect seen in the Bruce Boy music video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. And if you have any other tutorial suggestions, please let me know down in the comments because sometimes I decide to just choose from the many suggestions that I do get and maybe yours will be chosen. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.